Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be learning how to host a static website for absolutely free and one of the best website hosting platforms which is Google Firebase. So let's get into it. So I'm on firebase.google.com and uh, I'm logged in as a user. You can create a free account with Google if you don't have one already. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll go to the pricing section to show you that uh, the hosting for a website is absolutely free. I'll scroll down to hosting and you can see you can uh, have 1 GB of hosting and 10 GB per month of uh, data transfer with Google hosting. And you can also add your custom domain over here. And this plan that I'm in, uh, it's a Spark plan. It's absolutely free. I'll click on the Start Now button, which will take me to the Google console. In here, I will create a project for myself. I will name this uh, free website hosting demo and see if the name is available. I'll click on continue. Uh, I'll let this uh, as it is and continue. Configure Google Analytics, uh, use default settings. I agree and I accept this, create the project. So Google will create a project for me in just a second. Now that Google has created a project for me, I'll hit continue and it'll take me to the Google console. Uh, the Firebase plan that I'm in is the Spark one. I'll hit close. I don't want to select the place unless you want to. Now that we are in our project, uh, we will start by creating an application uh, which will be of type website. So I'll click on the website icon. It'll ask us to register an app. Uh, I, can, I can name my uh, website to be uh, our first website and uh, also set up firebase hosting for this we'll come back to that later i'll just register the app now that it is registered uh, it's asking to add the firebase sdk uh, we don't need this information for uh, our current demo so we'll leave that for now uh, i'll continue to console uh, now that we have our first site registered i'll go back to hosting and i'll see what information it gives us uh, I'll click on the get started section. It's asking us to install the Firebase CLI. So I'll copy this command. I'll go back to my terminal. So for this one, you need to have uh, Node installed, Node.js. Uh, I'll do that by checking the version of it. Uh, I already have it installed. So I'm using version 6.13.4. Um, so you basically have to go and install Node.js into your computer to be able to use it. And after that, I'll paste the command that I copied from there. I'll install Firebase tools into my system. Now that Firebase tools have been installed in my system, I'll go back to the website and uh, click on next. It's asking me to initialize your project. So it's asking me to Firebase login. I'll copy that command. I'll paste it here and click on it. And I think Firebase will ask me to log in uh, to one of my Google accounts. It's asking allow Firebase to collect CLI usage and error report. I'll click on the default yes. It has opened a uh, window. It's asking me to sign in, so I'll click on it and authorize Google to allow it, allow Firebase to use my Google account. And I'll close over here. Back to my terminal. It has successfully logged in as uh, my email address. I'll go back to the website and see what it says next it's saying initialize your project uh, by by doing firebase in it so for this um, this is my website uh, ready it's a static website with just an html page and css some images and javascript so it's not talking to any server uh, if i open it in locally it uh, views up like this so it's a normal static website that i created for this demo uh, so inside this website, if I go to this URL, uh, my my uh, terminal. So I'll connect to D drive and I'll navigate to this path and I'll copy this command Firebase in it and I'll paste it over here. It's asking me, are you ready to proceed? I'll say yes which is the default, which service uh, would I want to use? I want to use hosting, so I'll use the arrow keys and press space to select it. I can select more functions at the moment, but I'll just press enter for now. Use an existing project, I'll, I'll press enter. 
and the only project that we have is free website hosting demo that we created i'll press enter on that do you want to use your public directory as public so google will actually come here into the public folder which i will create now i'll copy all my files and paste it into the public folder of the directory which i initiated so google will come over here and pick all the files from here so i'll go back i'll say yes is it a single page application it's a no so it found an html file already do you want to overwrite it uh, no because i want google to take mine now that it has been initialized i'll click on next and the only command that is left is firebase deploy so i'll copy that i'll go back to my terminal and paste it this should start deploying our application to google's uh, web hosting servers now that uh, the deployment is complete uh, we'll go back to this url to check if it actually has deployed our application i'll copy it and i'll paste it in my browser and hit enter and as you can see our website is loading correctly uh, the javascript works the images have been loaded and the css works as well so as you saw uh, hosting a static website on google's uh, web hosting firebase platform is quite easy and it's absolutely free so uh, do your hosting today uh, if you like my video uh, give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon for future videos thanks so much for watching and have a nice day